what's going on youtube in today's video i'll be going over some quick updates on my silverado right here and i'll also be focusing on the audio system that i currently have installed on the truck as well for anybody that wanted to hear the system that i have or wanted to know you know what subs or speakers i have installed in this truck as well so if you wanted to check that out make sure you stay tuned and let's get to it all right for you guys that have been keeping up with the build I did go ahead and put on my new HD hood as you can see right here and also bolted on my fenders as well because I was in the process of tubbing them out but I just had to put them on you know because I'm currently driving it so that's what it looks like right there and I am able to bag it out now because you know I did go ahead and cut out those front fenders and as you can see right here the wheels in the rear um, took all the way in as well and in the front they do tuck in as well and don't rub anymore so that's all good right there and i'll show you guys under the hood how it looks like right now because if you remember on my previous videos i was driving it around and testing it without the hood since you know i was just messing with it in the garage mostly but this is what it looks like right now so i'll show you a close-up right here as you can tell the tubs are not installed in yet because you know i haven't had time to weld them or have anybody come and weld them so i just have it you know open like this on the left side and the right side but other than that i mean everything is good and it doesn't rub or anything like that which is good but i'll be doing that later on also as you can see right here i did keep my dual air intake set up as well and it's good it doesn't rub or anything like that i did have the edelbrock um air filters but i removed them for now because i just installed the hood real quick and i just wanted to make sure that it had no clearance issues at all but that's pretty much it right there as far as my electrical i do have an excess power battery running with all zero gauge wiring and a high output alternator made by mechman alternators um it's a 400 amp alternator right here so that's pretty much what i'm running for my system and all the electrical in the truck right there i am still waiting to get my yukon back from the shop it should be out pretty soon so i can go ahead and uh, shoot some new videos for you guys but other than that that's pretty much it for the updates and let's check out the system real quick all right so as you can see i do have a center console that i am working with right here in the middle it's not complete yet um it is working but you know it's not finished or anything like that but it's for a 12 inch woofer and it is ported as you can see on the top right there also in the middle i did go ahead and put in some cup holders and a small storage area right here you know it's not that big it's just like a you know you can put like a phone or cable stuff like that just to have something whenever i do finish it i'll probably add like an ipad in the front or something but you know other than that i'll just be having it like that for now and if you can see right here in the rear i do have the amplifiers mounted in the wall and i'll see if i can get a close-up at them right here it's basically you know a pioneer subwoofer amp and i do have an epicenter as well and you can see on the bottom like the subwoofer right here it is a kicker l7 q class 12 inch and on the side of the box i did go ahead and mount the terminals for the subwoofer with a nut and bolt setup right there so it won't leak any air and that's basically it right here as you can see the port is facing up right there and i'll go ahead and show you the other side right here so as far as my mids and heights i do have a kicker um, crossover and the pioneer four channel matching the subwoofer ramp on the other side and that's basically it what i have as far as like power and you know all that now as far as the subwoofer i did go ahead and end up doing a down firing setup because i did try it out in all the different um orientations and that sounded the loudest in the single cab right there so for mids and highs i'll go ahead and show you guys right here like on the top piece right here i made this uh, panel and I added some Alpine one inch tweeters. And on the bottom, I also did put another tweeter right here wherever it used to have the hole for the manual windows because I didn't like that. And I added a tweeter down in the bottom. It is a bullet tweeter made by Audio Pipe. I'll also try to link some of the items that I have on my truck right here if you want to check them out on the description down below. Essentially, they're the same on both door panels as you can see right here, you know, the titanium bullet tweeter and the uh, scar audio mid ranges right here you can also tell that it got damaged a little bit right there because i had them open and they had got damaged but they still play really good and i do have the same speakers in my yukon and i have no complaints on them so that's pretty much it 
All right, and also I do have a Pioneer double din head unit because I like the sound quality on them and you know, they're pretty good. I've never had problems with them. Um, it does have CarPlay as well. And also right here, I did mount the voltmeter for my battery. Like right now it's just, you know, the truck is off and it's sitting at 12.6, which is pretty good. And then right here on the left side, I have the epicenter base knob. And on the right is the actual, the regular base knob. And then these are just my window switches. Also, if you guys have any single cabs or regular cab trucks, um, I don't know if you ever noticed when you have like sound systems on the base side, whenever you have the windows closed, the bass is loud, but then when you put the windows down, it gets louder. And I'll see if I can show you on camera right here whenever I'm testing out the system as well. So I'll go ahead and try the system right now and I'll see if I can get as much flexing as I can. And also, you know, if the mic can pick it up, if not, it might get distorted a little bit, but I'll try to catch as much as I can. So I'll go ahead and start off with a Spanish song just to show you you know how the epicenter works because it'll have like bass but you won't really hear it until i turn up the bass you might be able to catch it on camera or hear it a little bit but let's go ahead and start right here if you were able to catch how the you know bass was a little bit louder with the epicenter right here and you know like i said it just it'll help out like any other songs english songs spanish songs it doesn't matter but that's pretty much it right there all right i'll go ahead and try out a regular you know just rap song with you know bass and no epicenter because it like this song won't need it you know most of them won't need it but if whenever you do like i said the epicenter will help out a lot so let's see right here
So I'll go ahead and try out a song right now with the truck running and then the doors closed and you know just the windows open and see what it sounds like.
Alright, so that'll be it for this video, guys. Also, if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Never leave a house without your motherfucking strap. You just got that red, it ain't no more act. No more park. Aye, mix it with the sand, she don't throw that pussy back. Aye, everything I got, I got it slow. Never ask nobody for nothing, you can be nobody home. Hey, Stooty Wood, Texas, that's the no. Aye, money on my mind, my dick in your whole mouth. Aye, plug Godzilla, bitch, I swoop through.